In this video, we're doing introduction to particle movement, and I refer to particle movement as peat particle. Uh, this is particle movement along a line, also known as rectilinear motion. So let's imagine that we have a straight line and we have a particle on that line. Now, my particle is peat. Pete is a cool kid. He's always smiling. He's got his baseball cap on backwards. And all he does all day long is he moves along this line. He moves to the right. He moves to the left. Sometimes Pete will stop and check out all the gorgeous ladies. Now, Pete doesn't have very good social skills, so when he looks at the girls, he usually gets himself into trouble, gets whapped upside the head, and runs away. So keep in mind that you need to be better at this than Pete. So let's go through and look at the varying types of functions that we have. S of T stands for position. And that's where Pete is on the line at any given time. V of t is velocity. And velocity is going to be talking about, is Pete moving to the right or is Pete moving to the left? A of t stands for acceleration. And acceleration combined with velocity is going to help us decide whether Pete is speeding up or slowing down. Now, all of these items are related to each other. Velocity, v of t, is the derivative of position. So v of t is the derivative of s of t. Acceleration is the derivative of velocity. So a of t is the derivative of v of t, or the second derivative of s of t. So if we're heading downhill, we are doing derivatives. Now, obviously, the reverse of derivatives, which would be going uphill, is integration. So if we integrate a of t, excuse me, a of t, dt, then we would get velocity plus c. If we integrate v of t dt, we would get position plus c. So again, they're related going backwards and forwards. Well, let's take a look at a couple of basic examples. Example 1. Given s of t is t cubed plus 3c squared, find v of t and a of t, then find s of 1, v of 1, and a of 1. So this function describes Pete's travels along the line. So to find v of t, we would take the derivative of that, so s prime of t, which would be v of t, would be 3t squared plus 6t. We want a of t, which would be the second derivative of position, or the derivative of velocity, so acceleration, would be 6t plus 6. Now we want s of 1, v of 1, and a of 1. Well, s of 1 means we're going to plug into the original, which would be 1 cubed plus 3 times 1 squared, or 4. We now know that at time 1, Pete is at position 4 on his line. Think a number line. Uh, v of 1 would be plugging into our derivative of s of t, which was 3t squared plus 6t. So 3 times 1 squared plus 6 times 1 would be 9. So since that's a positive value, we now know that Pete is traveling to the right at time 1. Then let's get acceleration at 1. So if we plug into our acceleration function, we get 6 times 1 plus 6, or 12. Now if we compare velocity and acceleration, notice that they are both positive. If the signs match, if they're both positive or both negative, then the particle is speeding up. It did not ask for that, but I thought I'd give you a preview. In example 2, hey, look, it's asking, 
is the particle speeding up or slowing down at t is 1. So we know that v of 1 is positive. We know that a of 1 is positive. Signs match. So if the signs are the same, then the particle is speeding up. If the signs were different, then the particle would be slowing down.